Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 4.0, and today is day 28. So today I have a uh, DocuSign tip that I learned from my friend Brandy Roca, who was uh, kind enough to do an interview with me last week on her command success story. If you haven't seen that interview, I'll post a link here. And yet it had to do with organizing your DocuSign documents. So let's take a look at that. We're going to get into our opportunities. And we're going to select one of the opportunities that we've been working with. We're going to dive into the opportunity by clicking on it. And then we're going to choose our Documents tab. From there, we want to go to the Transaction. So we'll click on Go to Transaction, which will take us into DocuSign. Now, when we come into our DocuSign room, you can see we have documents in here. And right now, they're all in this one folder called Room Docs. However, we know that with most transactions, we're going to have multiple folders or sets of documents that we need to have. Now, since this is a buyer folder, I'm going to come over and click on this action button on the top right hand corner actions and then add folder. I'm going to create my first quote folder and call it consultation docs and I'm going to click on create and then while I'm here I'm going to create a folder for contract docs and then I'm going to create one more for closing docs. So now I have created three folders. I've got my consultation docs, my contract docs, and then my closing documents. You can see it actually <clears throat> mimics kind of the folders we have here, consultation, under contract, and closed. Now when I'm in the actual DocuSign room, I can start going through and say, okay, uh, the IABS and the buyer tenant rep, those are more along the lines of consultation docs. So I'm gonna click the little radio button to the left of both of those. And then I'm going to come up to the top and click on the move and then destination. And I'm going to select folder and current room and choose the consultation doc folder and then select move. Now that's going to move those two documents into my consultation document folder. So then I can come in and say, okay, contract docs, that's going to be the CMA, the flood map, that repair negotiation email we had. And then all the rest of these other documents are also contract documents. So I'm going to select all of these and then click on the arrow. And I'm going to move all of those into folder and then contract docs. So now I have all of my documents out of my main folder into either contract documents, consultation documents. As I get closer to closing, I can put my DA, my uh, CD, uh, any of my actual closing disclosures or any other documents needed for closing in this folder. Here's the nice thing. When I go back to command, I'm going to click on sync transaction so that it kind of refreshes the connection. All those changes I made in DocuSign will show up in command. And now when I go to under contract and I go to attach files, it's going to connect right into DocuSign. I can choose this radio button. However, now you'll see in the dropdown, I have my consultation doc folder and then my contract doc folder. So it's much simpler and easier instead of me having to go through all of these documents kind of randomly spread out through here, I can easily put them in folders and then know, okay, right now I'm in my contract checklist. So I should be looking at all of my contract documents. If I were to go into my consultation folder, right, if I had checklist items here, then I would click on attach multiple files and go that route. And then finally, in my closed folder, you can see here are four closed documents that need to be attached. I would have those in my closed folder in DocuSign as well. So it's an easy way to kind of keep yourself organized and um, make it simpler when you're attaching multiple files to find that file under the root folder that it belongs to. So thank you again, Brandy, for blowing my mind on that DocuSign tip. I appreciate you sharing it with us, and I'm glad to share it with everyone else as part of the 66-Day Challenge. Guys, again, if you haven't seen Brandy Roca's interview, check it out. And as always, I will look forward to speaking with you again tomorrow. Thanks so much for your time.